Hey guys, what's up? Rocket here is here and welcome to my new tutorial. So in this, I'll be talking about how to create a wedge. So let's get started. This will be a very short and quick tutorial. So let's get started. I'll name this as pizza because pizza is in uh, generally a wedge shape, so so that you understand a bit better. Or you can call it a pie as well, so that you know you have it as a piece of a pie or a pie chart that is used in. Uh, Excel sheets and all that. All right, so let's get started and then let's get uh, forward. All you need to do is you have to create a new convert or shape, and the shape over here will be a wedge. And then you give the brackets and then give the curly braces. So in the curly braces, as usual, you give this x and y values. X and y values are the positionings of the uh, pie, and I'll be showing how that works out in a bit after we create the wedge shape. Give it a y value of uh, 20 or so, and then you start off over here uh, to create the wedge. What you need to do is, as usual, you have to give uh, the uh, give the dimensions of the wedge. So, but uh, for the wedge, the two important dimensions are the angle, and then there is something called the radius. So, a wedge is like a, a small piece of an a circle so give it an angle of 50 I'll give it an angle of 50 over here and then let's give a radius of 100 let's see what happens before that we need to give a fill as well so let me give a fill of hashtag E uh, F6 all right so let's see what happens you guys before that you need to actually add it to the layer over here or it won't work okay so my mind uh, I lost my mind when I didn't understand why it was not working so do not make that mistake anyways as you can see you have a pie over here so that is how you get a simple wedge to work for you so as you can see it also looks like a pizza a slice of pizza so you can name your variable whatever you want it to but do not remember do not forget I'm sorry do not forget to add it to uh, the layer dot add over here or else it won't appear at all Anyways, uh, uh, we, let's go. Let's go forward. Let's get uh, uh, going. So I'll show that if you add, if you change the y value, the actual corner, the corner where the angle is subtended, uh, is 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 decided by the x and y values over here. So as you can remember, for circle and ellipse, it is the center, but for the rectangle and the wedge, it is the it, it is the corner uh, that is the leftmost one. Anyway, so let I'll, I'll take it back to about uh, 80. So after which, so you can play around with values as well. So if you increase the value to 80, your there, there is a bigger pie over here, and you can do that with a lot of other values. You can give 190, but it's going out of the uh, canvas. So for that, you can change the x value to 130. All right, so as you can see, you have a uh, you have a wedge but it is more of a part of a circle so you can subtend any angle that you would wish to subtend you can give what 120 as well and increase the radius as per your requirements so let's say you give a 300 so you can see a beautiful big wedge over here and I'll decrease the angle so that it doesn't go out of the plane anyways so as you can see you have a fill over here you can even give a stroke as we have given for other elements so you can give e01 okay so you have to put a comma over here all right so i i think we we do have a stroke but we don't have a width of uh, a considerable viewpoint so let's give it about two uh, 10 let's see what happens Okay, I'm forgetting to give a comma each time, so that is not good at all. Anyways, guys, so you can give uh, a stroke of let's say EE1. All right, so you have a very thick uh, width over here, and that is how you generally get a wedge. So as usual, you can even give a shadow blur and shadow offset. So give a shadow offset of about 10 and not remember to put the X over here oh I'm sorry do not forget to put the X over here remember to put it damn man so you give an offset over here of Y as well and give it 20 
and then give a shadow blur of let's say 40. Alright, so as you can see, you have a beautiful shadow over here, and you can play around with this element. You, give, you can give them events, you can give them various styling, and all that. You can also play with filters as well, as we have seen in the last few tutorials. And you can go ahead and create some kind of interactivity. And this is how you can use a wedge. Alright, guys, that's it for this video. This is Rocket Erase. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also give a like if you, give, if you like my videos. And also tell your friends about this, share this with them and also stay tuned for more amazing tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.